During the Second World War, the Grumman Aircraft Engineering Company produced some of America's most iconic carrier-based fighter aircraft. The F-4F Wildcat and the F-6F Hellcat were two such aircraft which took to the skies over the Pacific. But another, more powerful and much faster plane would also be produced. Introducing the F-7F Tiger Cat, this twin-engined fighter was designed to replace all aircraft carrier-based planes for the United States, and with a top speed of 435 miles or 700 kilometres an hour, it certainly had the potential. But why didn't it replace these planes? Well, in today's video, we look at the story of the F-7F Tiger Cat during World War II. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, hit that subscribe button. It's free and really helps the channel reach more history lovers like you. In 1941, work began on a concept for a twin-engine fighter capable of operating from an aircraft carrier. Once the US entered the war in the same year, this concept was ramped up through varying designs. The Grumman F-7F would take flight in 1943, and its initial testing showed impressive results. Its high rate of speed and manoeuvrability made it one of the fastest piston engine aircraft of the war, outgunning its F-6F Hellcat by more than 71 miles or 114 kilometres an hour. Captain Fred Trapnell, a prolific naval test pilot, indicated it was the best fighter he had ever flown. But the original concept for the plane was to be more than just a fighter. The aircraft needed ground attack capabilities, and this was also shown with its intended armament. By 1943, with the US having endured years of aviation combat over the skies of Europe, the use of cannons fitted to planes was almost a no-brainer. German aircraft had long been filling B-17s with huge holes and ripping apart the fuselages of US fighters. So the Tiger Cat was to be fitted with these. Not one, not two, but four 20mm cannons would be fixed to the aircraft. These would be complemented by an additional four 50 caliber machine guns. Further, the ability to carry a large load of bombs and even torpedoes were another positive for the F-7F. But with all this armament came at a cost. The weight of two engines and all those guns and bombs meant a high landing speed and hard landing. Not the greatest things for a carrier-based aircraft. The trials for the plane to be successful in carrier operations didn't go so well. Testing on a single engine coming into land showed terrible directional stability. This ultimately meant the Tiger Cat failed at its main purpose. Variations were made, but in the end, the order to Grumman put through by the Navy resulted in land-based versions of the aircraft. The unfortunate thing with the carrier failings meant no Tiger Cats would see combat during World War II. At the time of the Japanese surrender, two squadrons of the aircraft were in training, but ultimately missed out on the conflict. But this wasn't the end for the Tiger Cat. The Korean War was only around the corner, and during this war, the F-7F saw many operations. Deployed in the night fighter role, it would attack enemy convoys and enemy fighters. It also performed roles with ground support and reconnaissance flights. But like so many planes of that time, the introduction of jet aircraft meant its role was continuously limited, until it was eventually phased out altogether. The pilots who were lucky enough to fly the F-7F F had high praise for it, and as for its intended carrier role, a later variant was actually able to satisfy aircraft carrier testing and make it on deck, but too little too late for this amazing aircraft. Had you ever heard of the F-7F Tiger Cat? What did you think about it? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to expand your knowledge and join the growing Premier History community.